I decided not to bring a whale today, um, but just a picture. You know, really big animal, biggest there's ever been. So what could hurt a whale? When you put it in perspective on the upper right, whales aren't that big compared to stuff that humans have built. And their geographies that bring together whales and human activity, like our very own channel, where there's a likelihood of them coming together. So how do you minimize the chance of them coming together, same place, same time? A classic spatial problem. And made more complicated by the fact that the ships are kind of predictable, easily findable, and the whales, not necessarily. So how do you use geospatial tools to try to minimize the chance? A lot of things have gone on. Here, the sea sketch stuff on campus has helped plan by looking at historic patterns of where whales are compared to the shipping lanes. Trying to take it a little closer to real time, buoys that listen and report to ships that there might be whales nearby. But my question is, can we take that closer to real time from maybe to there's a whale right ahead of you and you're going to hit it in two minutes. That's what a concept I'm calling whale traffic control, whether we can extend those geospatial tools into the real time. Now, what would that look like? Um, it's a complicated set of requirements. I think we need to be very specific in place and time. A whale, a vessel, there has to be actionable data that the vessel can do something to, to avoid it. It has to be environmentally sensitive and fit with policies, too. Uh, what would that look like? A lot of different components. I think it would be multiple sensors that are both underwater, on the surface, aerial, definitely on vessels, maybe on whales, too. There's got to be an architecture that takes advantage of the communication network, some that we have now, some that need to be developed. Air traffic control is a pretty good example uh, of what something would look like. And of course, it has to be geospatial. So the goal here in this concept is, can we extend geospatial tools to leave a little happier outcome for the whales who can wave goodbye to the ships without a direct encounter, which is never good for the whale. Thanks.